Miss Tommy Bottoms. I'm sitting here with a longtime friend of mine, Abyss Graham, Derek Abyss Graham, just Abyss. <laughs> The artist formerly known as Abyss. I no, got you. With you. No, I got you. Abyss. Y'all can call me A-B-Y-S-S. And what does Abyss stand for, for those that don't know? A bright young soul searching or seeking. Okay. Okay. And I think they're going to be seeking you because we right here on Live Wire Cafe That's getting it up. in. You know what I'm saying? So just for the people who don't know, the, the three or four people in the cyber world who don't know who Abyss is, tell them a little, give them a, 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 a quick background, where you're from and, and how long you've been here. Just, you know, a little quick quick bio real quick. So check it out. Um, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, I've been living in Atlanta for 15 years. Um uh, basically performing as a poet for 15 years and you know I do uh, I'm a musician you know I uh, perform spoken word write poetry I'm a writer I'm also a philanthropist so I make sure that I'm uh, speaking to the kids motivational speaking just to keep brother light basically I heard that I heard that and you 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 do a unique brand of 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 artistry in the sense of like you you kind of mentioned as far as you talk to the kids, but you 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 kind of bring what I like a, like a, a certain soul and a certain message to to what you do. Tell tell the little little more about that. I call it a genre. Basically, I didn't fit in with anything that they had out right now, and they don't respect it when you call it spoken word or poetry or anything. It kind of like softens you up. So to add edge, I just they bought my own genre. They think poets are soft? How dare they? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Well, they think we're either mad or horny. Exactly. So basically, you know, we got way more than revolutionary and loving poems. But I mean, I wouldn't even say loving, but you know what I'm saying. I know what you mean. But um, but uh, I call it acid gospel, and basically, acid is burning. Gospel is the truth, so it's the burning truth, conscious hip hop, whatever you want to call it. It's spoken word, so it starts with spoken word. So that's what you know. That's what we do to get it in, man. We, 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 we make it we make it and so it is poetry so. on steroids how I've heard you commonly refer to it as exactly it this, ain't for those it, 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 for full disclosure I, I know a lot about a bit so it's kind of hard for me to interview him because I kind of <laughs> know a lot but uh you you one thing that's unique about abyss as far as other spoken word artists you you bring so many different elements to a show you you know what I mean one one aspect of spoken word is you know you and the mic and then, but when Abyss does it, like you said on steroids, I'm gonna bring a full band. It's gonna be some dancers and some jugglers and <laughs> some people doing backflips on the stage. <laughs> it's just an all-out production. What 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 made you just want to take it to that next level? Uh, basically, you know, I I want to see how I fit into this game. And the thing about it is, one thing I, I I hate that we always get we get the stigma of just being taken lightly off gate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It don't matter. Oh, we gonna do a poetry show. But the last person you book is the poet. Yeah, yeah. But everything mattered. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it, they're putting the carriage before the horse. So then when we look at, you know, it's a bunch of us workhorses out here on this chitlin circuit. Mm -hmm. And it's more than the chitlin circuit because you, you get in the places. But, you know, it's time where we can't be on this hamster wheel. Got to let y'all know, yo, you can get your one-stop shop here. So do you think what you – so – Essentially, I think what you're saying is you're trying to change or elevate that image of what a spoken because because there is that 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 uh, stigma, if you will, yeah. of poetry is lame. And yeah. and let, let's keep it 100. A lot of it does is lame. You know what I mean? It, it but, can be repetitive, yeah, and you know, yeah. and I ain't gonna be politically correct yeah, about it. Yeah, but yeah. everybody ain't good with everything that they do. Exactly. And we all. I mean, even to be considered slightly talented and just really getting it in, we had to start from somewhere. So I can keep that part of it. But one thing that we did do is we respected where we weren't. Exactly. And we respected where we were, but we definitely respected where let's, we wanted to go. Let's chop up game a little bit because we, we right. you know, we know each other, and we've been. I've been in Atlanta ten years. You've been here fifteen. Uh, I knew who Abyss was when I got here, heard of his name. I, I knew who even. Tommy was before I met him. My cousin and, uh, Carl told me about him. And uh, so let's talk about, you know, the particular, let's just speak specific with Atlanta poetry scene. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, I think we can make a general statements about everywhere around the country, but we're in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, Barley's billiard spot. I don't know if it's Barley's. Barley's. Dope little spot. Definitely come check us out. Yeah, fly. We're right here on right here in downtown Atlanta. That's good food too. And uh but you know, what do you think 
because when I, me personally, I think when I first got here, I kind of was was fortunate to come at a what I think was a strong time right. for spoken word in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot going on. I mean, for those that don't know, me and a bitch used to have our little. We we I came up in East Coast West Coast beef in Atlanta. I was an Ebony poet. He was a live poet, and and you know that's just how it was. You know, what I mean, it was a lot of different groups. You know what I'm saying? Right. And colorful names. Colorful names. I'm and, so and so. Yeah. I'm this. I'm that. <laughs> But yeah, but it was it was but all of that it was still sharp and still. There exactly. was all these different groups and everybody was trying to say, I'm trying to not just push my my particular homeboys or homegirls to the next level, but it was all about elevating the genre. Break dancing almost. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we all had crews, little poetry yeah, crews. Poor, I, I, you know, coming from Indiana, I thought that was the most bananas thing. I used to be calling back home like, man, they got these little poetry groups man like they like gangs down here man it's like these live poets and, and we go deep poets we'll be deep at the spot too you know and they, you know they used to always be trying to get me to battle with the live poets it was just like we got to have a battle <laughs> gotta battle the live poets the, it's, it's the ebony poets i was like man i came down here for peace, man. I ain't jumping the porch about no gang <laughs> yeah, stuff. Beef. You're like, no, this ain't beef. This is lunch meat. But yeah, it was, but it was, but those were good times, you know. Times. And you don't yeah. know what you got till it's gone. Woo. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, nobody really knew who they were. And what was the good part about it? Everybody stayed hungry. A couple of us yeah. done ate out here a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. And this ain't no money. If, if you can count it, it ain't enough. If you can count what you the got, game, you ain't got much. It, it, it should be that. There's money. It's more money in the relationships. But we don't have too many people uh, nurturing relationships. They'd rather mm -hmm. nurture that wallet, and that wallet's still going to let you down because somebody controlling you that ain't got it. One of the things that I, I, I – that's a great point you brought up because one of the things I've noticed, particularly in Atlanta, is that before people want to get their talent sharp or, 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 or sharpen, their, sharpen their craft or get good at their craft, mm -hmm. they're worried about the business. Right, uh, and I'm like, well, the business is part is is a good it, part of it. that's part a big it. part of it. You got your focus, yeah, but focus on but the craft. Get your craft straight, then the business will start coming. Then you start because you know you you definitely got to have your business straight. Right, but the business doesn't mean anything. Nobody wants to do business with you if you're not good at what you do. Exactly, you know, there's a lot of putting the cart before the horse. What I see, mm -hmm. uh, what I've seen over the years, I would see people like. Well, as soon as I get my stuff copywritten, then I'm going to get on the stage. I'm like, Shawty, nobody's looking to steal you. Yeah, nobody's looking to steal you. Steal what you just did because for the most part, there's a bunch of beasts out here. And nobody right. wants your work. Trust me. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, 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 yeah. and, and that's what it is. But the thing about it is, even though it's a blood sport like it is, yeah. and, I, and I use this term because... For those that are out here actually grinding, you've been out here in the trenches. We see what it is. And the thing about it is what makes us all, what, bring, what makes it very interesting is everybody has a brand that they're trying to push. Exactly. And a lot of times we got to link up and click up just to make some things happen. This ain't no different than Motown music. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is the same thing. Like, this is, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. And it, it ain't the sound cliche. It's like, come on. One of the things I've always found funny is that people will say Atlanta's clickish. It's not clickish. You just got to get with yoke-minded yoke people, the same, yeah, that, that can carry the burden with you. If we if all sit at good, the table, everybody brings something to the table. Yeah, you, you get good, invited to the meetings. People will find out, be like, yo, we need you. You know, you need to come in the circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come to the light. You, you, you have something to bring to the table. But if not... Everybody can't be eating when everybody ain't been around since it was cake mix. Exactly. You can't come over here cutting a slice when it's icing. Talking on. About you want the big piece of cake. <laughs> you want the big piece. Like we ain't deserving of it. Exactly. And the thing about it is a lot of times people are like, yo, I can't wait to do something. It's a whole long line of people. If it's going to get done, it's going to get done. I'm so done past talking my ear off. Show me. Exactly. Let me you ain't got to show me. Show yourself. Exactly. Build that confidence. That's what we're doing. That's how we had to do it. We had to earn it, and I think that's why I don't give it away lightly. If you like, you gonna speak to the student for a minute, but I'm a student of this game too. I'm still learning. I can't tell you no more than what I've done. Come on, period, or what I've witnessed. Let's let me let me let me take some for the people real quick because a lot of times uh, this is an interesting life that we live. You know, as I'm a, for those that I'm Tommy Bottle, I'm a spoken word artist as well. 
and I, I've been full time f for as long as I've known the best, about 10 years now. We've been all over the country together, done a lot of stuff. And, and then there's the ups and downs and just being a spoken word artist. So I'm going to ask you two questions and the good and bad, because everybody knows. Well, we'll start with what's your worst poetry moment? And then we'll go to your best poetry moment. And when I say your best poetry moment, that. God damn it, I'm a rock star moment. You know what I'm saying? Because you go, there's plenty of those. What the hell am I doing with those with my life moments? You know what I mean? You're gonna have plenty of those. So go ahead and tell me one of those. What the hell am I doing with my life uh, times in your life? And then we'll get to the good stuff. Can I name the airline that broke my? Uh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Check it out. It's the What's internet. It? You can do what the hell you want to do. Right. Hey, check it out. I went to um, I went to D.C. <laughs> And I can't remember the cat's name, but they booked me. And I went and I saw these guys carrying my roll away on a dolly. <laughs> but they let my uh, amp go through the conveyor belt. And they dropped it. And I hear it, something like tumbling, but nigga, it sounded like the, <laughs> the, the, the roof falling out. Man, I get over here and it's my, um, it's my amp. And it's in like a couple of pieces and chipped up and i'm looking like how are y'all dragging something that got <laughs> wheels and you put this on the conveyor belt and i'm sitting around here pissed so i done got drunk as hell because i can't you know they give you the one 800 numbers yeah and you can't get nobody exactly <laughs> and i didn't get nobody <laughs> and i'm looking like the dude was like yo why you taking all these pictures i ain't trying to sound like a crazy y'all why you taking all the pictures? Because you need a before and after I smash on y'all. Look <laughs> look at what's going on right here, man. This is crazy. So they didn't do nothing. I got towed down. I go to the club at the spot that I was supposed to be performing at. And I was so towed down that I could not say a word. I couldn't just get it together. I was so pissed. And I, I, I was mad at myself because I don't even drink before shows. I just yeah, needed yeah, yeah, something yeah. to ease my nerves. And I was sitting around, man. I drank. And I was towed down, and I was sitting around here. I was looking at the people like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like my worst moment. And yeah. ever since then, I ain't took an L. Yeah. I felt you like don't, uh, you don't. I will say that you go, you you go in. I, I go, I got go in. I'm focused now. And yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you know, I can't take this lightly because you know this is something God gave me, and I couldn't function at that time because yeah. somebody broke some equipment. Exactly. That really it wasn't that important in the grand scheme mm -hmm. of things because I already saw a glimpse of me not being able to do what I'm doing now. That's that, real that, talk. That, that, that's that's not. Hey, now happening. give us one of those those rock star moments where you like. God damn it! Let me pop my collar for real quick, cause you know what I mean. You, you you and you know what I'm talking about. I and I know you're a married man now, so keep it. You know, <laughs> nah, you silly. Keep it, you know. <laughs> you silly. Family oriented. Nah, <laughs> I think it had to have been at Apache Cafe when I did the unplugged, the bits mm. unplugged. Okay, it's on YouTube as well. But I did a bits unplugged, but I was able to show. This is a few months ago, right? Well, was no, this it? was the two years. Okay, two okay, years okay. back. Because I know you just did one not too long ago that was off. The yeah, and that, and that and that and that was, yeah, was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. I, I think I felt this one because it was the first time I bought the keys I out got you. I in got front you. of people. Um, I did some trumpet, mm -hmm. some guitar, then spit, and then gave you a show. Rocked out with my son, mm -hmm. and then it's like. Phew, Y'all don't even understand. Like I'm, 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 I'm feeling bad right now that I gotta end this show. Yeah, this yeah. could have went on for the rest of my life. Yeah. I'd have got an IV, still entertained. Not, not to get a sidetrack. Tell us a little bit about your son, the, uh, the musician. Uh, Jordan. Uh, my son. I have, uh, I have five sons and three daughters, but I have one son that's in the business right now. His name is Jordan. Uh, Hemby, the animal. He's touring right now with Latasha Scott. Mm -hmm. He's a drummer, and he also uh, drummed the other night at uh, John Goods and thing with Rudy yeah, Currents. Yeah, yeah. So you know he getting it in. He hitting the churches. He on his grind, and you know it's good to just see young men walking into their own, and we can usher that in as a father. And you just go watch them grow. All mm -hmm. you doing is it was fertile ground, and you watching it bloom and blossom. Yeah. So I'm, I'm 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 thankful for all of my seeds. But I'm definitely, you know, like I said, just pushing along. All of them got something going on. Yeah. I'll be a grandfather in October. <laughs> Congratulations, y'all. So, you know, all of them got something going on in their own world. Everybody give out a, a round of applause for Abyss, the grandfather. I'm a granddaddy. I didn't know I was going to be a granddaddy doing this. My all life right. is surreal now. <laughs> I think I'm going through a midlife. I'm getting a two-seater. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, right.
Yes, I'm Anthony London, CEO of Sky City TV. We want to invite you guys out to check out the newest, best thing in television. We'll bring you everything from movies, videos, commercial. We are innovating the television network market. We've got things that are going to happen that are going to be big for us. Sky City TV, the best. Come join us. Watch it. Dish Network. We're in the house. No, I'm messing with you. Hey, we having fun over here. This is this is how this thing start because really all of this don't matter. What what matters is that we getting this out to you. Exactly. That's that's what this boils down to. And we thankful for Jericho Broadcasting to one that had a wherewithal. He's been trying to get us to do this for years. Mm -hmm. And now it comes and you yeah. see somebody's thought come to fruition and all you're able to do is, you know, you, you bless us with your presence. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get paid in this thing. That's This is how we get paid sometimes in this spoken word thing. A lot of times people think you got to get paid. Once you put a value on it, hey. That's what people think they got to meet that number. And if they can't meet that number, they don't even holler at you. It's real talk. My thing is come talk to me like a human and let's see what we can work out. Our people say, how much is it going to cost you to get, you know, how much does it cost to get Tommy Bottles? Well, I charge 50000 but we can work it out. <laughs> <laughs> Might work do it for 50. <laughs> <laughs> we can work something out, you know what I'm saying? But it's 50000 now. You got to, if you cut $50,000 check, that's what I charge. <laughs> if really? not... There's leeway in there. Hey, there's a lot of wiggle room. Let's in talk. There. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk. In the words of my girl Georgia, say, what you say? You can't pay me what I'm worth. Exactly. Only what we negotiate. Yeah, it's only what you negotiate. Yeah, hey. it's all. It's all. It's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Georgia, me. You know, and all the other folks that's in our federation doing their thing. You know, she got. Um, and, and that's the, the unique thing that I, or not unique, but special. I would say it, that might just. There's a lot of very talented people right here in the city of Atlanta. You, uh, from from John Good to Malik Salam to George and me to to I mean it's just, uh, even just not even just poets. I mean you got Philippia here, right? Uh, comedians like Zoo Man and Corey Miller. Focus, uh, you focus. got yeah. It's just a, it's just a lot Carlos of people Miller. that are just uh, you know I, I always find it kind of a blessing to be amongst all this. You know what I'm saying? For no other reason but to be inspired. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes right. I'll be like, man, you know, I'm glad I could call that person a friend or even an associate. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I, I run in a, in a circle of a bunch of talented beasts, people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And, 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 and Abyss being one of them. You know what I'm saying? Or it's, it's Appreciate like, you, man. You know, and definitely one of them. The thing about it is still sharp and still. And I can still see some of the new that may be coming in here as well. Mm -hmm. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's. It was just so much of it when we first started, though. Exactly. And nobody really knew who they was. I remember the night that cats really, really, really stood out on their names. Mm -hmm. Before we even, the people that we look at as the Georgia Me's, mm -hmm. it was Tamika Harper. I mean, well, no, it was always Georgia Me. But then you had John Good, mm -hmm. Cola Rum, Johannes. We was at our kill and Jessica Care yeah, yeah. spot. But this is like the whole, this is the time. This is so rich. In history, mm -hmm. and this is the stuff that we see every day at more epics. On Mondays, we will have uh, Jessica Care Moore doing something with the more black press. The Tuesdays was me and uh, Bits and Cocktails, mm -hmm. Wednesdays was Anthony David, um, what's her name, India Ari, yeah. Thursdays was John Good, Cola Rum, Fridays was uh, DJ Drama. Wow. Uh, Saturdays was Corey Whitehead to be over there yeah, hosting yeah, yeah. with the good news. Psh, Corey and them you gave me my first. the whole lineup yeah. of, of just remarkable talent. You know what I'm saying? And one little on, spot. On one little this spot. was on 227 Mitchell Street. And you even missed the name DJ Drama? Drama. <laughs> go. We, it's like it's man, I'm telling you, it's so much. Even when we went back to it, we had a cookout over at my crib. Where the helicopters came and broke it up over in Decatur. Decatur for Elwood. Poetry. For poetry. The dude, when the cops came over there, they had 18 police cars. The white guy was the white cop that was running all of the black police over there. It was a peaceful event. So they couldn't believe somebody over here grilling all this chicken 
and it ain't no fighting going on. And we sitting in here talking about how spoken word, we felt like rock stars. That might have been my rock star yeah, moment. Yeah, That's what I was waiting for. You know for. what I'm saying? Yeah. That might have been my yeah, rock yeah, star yeah, moment yeah, yeah. when I knew this thing was way bigger than what we knew. And that's what I was just looking at this, uh, this uh, what's his name? Arrington, Arrington Sinner, right? Arrington Sinner. He was a cat that he was a race car driver, Formula One racer. But it was just what he said when he finally got to the lap where he actually won the championship for the first time. He said it's almost like you saw God and you stay focused and mm. you couldn't tell you really what happened just then it was yeah, surreal yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm sitting up in there the police got the light on super bright and i'm looking up like man we are in trouble but what did we do we ain't do nothing just i'm not in trouble having a good time i'm not in trouble we ain't selling crack out here you know what i'm saying ain't we no over here, out here like we like p diddy over here but with some consciousness you know what I'm saying? Hey, on that note, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go to a break, and when we come back, we're going to have a performance. Is that what we're going to do? When we come back, we're going to have a best do a performance for y'all and show you and not just tell you the beast he is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when we come back, it's the Live Wire Cafe, y'all. I'm Tommy Bottles, my homeboy, Abyss, next to me, and we'll be right back. Yes, I'm Anthony London, CEO of Sky City TV. We want to invite you guys out to check out the newest, best thing in television. We'll bring you everything from movies, videos, commercial. We are innovating the television network market. We've got things that are going to happen that are going to be big for us. Sky City TV, the best. Come join us. Watch it. Dish Network. We're in the house. Uh, shout out to my man Tommy Bottoms Put me on over here My man Roy Evans Yeah, getting it in My name is Abyss, y'all I'm a spoken word artist I call it acid gospel uh, Spoken word on steroids And you know Just spitting 16s And uh, pulling strings over here My name is Abyss, y'all I'm a blade of grass in a field of dreams I'm a diamond amidst the cronies Know what I mean They said the block too hot the world's still cold They call it a market Cause their souls being sold Lack of academics The level is epidemic The treatment is symptomatic We dealing with bastards addicts With nothing up in their attic Recollection is tragic So it's hard to imagine I'm a beautiful mess Some living to die Just to pay bills Preoccupied and they can't hone the skills Hypocrites lie Just to keep it real I got fish and loaves no need to get ill so many bloody clothes that i came to heal cause my voice is a weapon no need to conceal we surrounded by these bricks but we still won't build got a master's last name who are we for real sticks and stone breaks bones words to get you killed to these house ninjas yeah we live from the field yeah i'm underground but call me king of the hill call me king of the hill call me king of the hill love is deeper than bows and arrows philos agape arrows angels and cherubs slaves and Skull and bones on apparel, chuck a deuce I used to rock a noose, now my rhyme scheme Zeus Chickens get roasted, winners get toasted Nothing when you lose, believe in the claps You best believe in the booze Working on my person, then blew a French quarter, sipped on some bourbon, trying to cut it out, but it's hard to find a surgeon. Critics say I take the gift with the cursing, so I hustle with emphasis until it's curtains. Live your life, cause death is for certain. Do it on your own or face the coercion. Waiting in the water, preparing for excursion. Gave me white cheese of some King Jimmy's version. This is not a beef, they just stake out and pile a suburban. They order me like takeout, they wanna frisk my turban. So I question their observing and spit the gift like I'm Christmas curling.
tell you, man, it's going to be a time when we chewing up the game, believe it. We just hope we don't get raped like hip hop did. They done ran through us <laughs> on the low, though. You know, we, we, we'll give y'all some crumbs for a minute. We're going to have to make a door out the window. Real talk. be more accurate to simply call me a capitalist who's looking to exploit his talent. And since I understand the importance of protecting my legal status, I thought I might need to go out and apply for a trademark and a patent. This great idea I've been kicking around that I just might happen to be the baddest man on the planet. But before I can even begin that transaction, my attorney quickly informed me there was really no need for me to copy rigging. My mind moves way too fast for anybody to possibly copy what I was thinking. I said that's exactly what I was thinking. Particularly when I get to drinking. That's why you never see me hesitate to participate in debate, regardless of my words, the slur, the blur, or vision, because I still possess the ability to piss people off with pinpoint precision. See, I can poke holes in most people's opinion with nothing more than hardcore common sense and just a few basic facts. And for some people, well, I'm just a big dickhead for that. But aside whether I'm a dickhead or not, really not the point, point is I'm too proud to dumb it down. So you can't call yourself trying to school me, forwarding me some phony email about some fictitious historical figure named Willie Lynch who didn't even exist, or trying to kick me some pseudo knowledge about how some dude on YouTube told you, well, uh, you know, Jay Z's actually not a dope MC, he's actually an agent for the Illuminati. Get the fuck out of here. If bullshit was a commodity, this internet intellects pose this pose would then to have a monopoly. But let me go ahead and stop. See, this is a perfect example of how I be pissing some people off. So you just got a chance to see firsthand how I'm always personal for my intellectual high horse just shitting on people's opinion and dissing their deepest thoughts. Even my girlfriend argues with me all the time, talking about, Tommy, you always act like you can't never be wrong. Nigga, you do not know everything you swear you miss to know it all. I said, no, not at all. I just know a little bit about a lot of shit. And what you call know it all, I call passing it. Tell me if you bullshit, I'm passing it. I'm not having it. You want to argue with me? Better make sure that you're accurate. Because I did do my undergraduate at University of Arrogance where I got straight A's and being an asshole. So I'm the very first one to know 
But am I pursuing the truth? Oftentimes I can come off a little bit obtuse. But that's why I made it my personal goal to go out and see if I could pull off the impossible. See if I could target an artist and smarten up, smarten up the market. Properly price, place, and promote my product and push it to the people and build my brand and expand off into a franchise and redefine what it truly means to be a wise guy. See, I'm an acapella good fella. Just watch how I can make smart the new gangster. But before I can make an impact and make millions, I got to put together the perfect marketing plan to make sure my poetry appeals to women. Yes, I'm Anthony London, CEO of Sky City TV. We want to invite you guys out to check out the newest, best thing in television. We'll bring you everything from movies, videos, commercial. We are innovating the television network market. We've got things that are going to happen that are going to be big for us. Sky City TV, the best. Come join us. Watch it. Dish Network. We're in the house.